If you're a regular watcher of my channel, you might remember a year ago I released a video about a sea turtle that was rescued from a possible shark attack. It was rescued from right here in this pool in front of me by my daughter and her friends and I'm happy to say that just the Monday just gone, that turtle was released back into the ocean here behind me, healthy and raring to go. Hi, I'm Barry Callister of Photographer's Freedom, taking you from beginner to better to business. Here on my channel and at photographersfreedom.com, I do photography tutorials, camera gear reviews, photography business advice, and more, all designed to help you no matter where you are in your photography journey. Subscribe if you like the sound of that, and ding that notification bell. Today, I am here at Arawara Headland on the mid-north coast of New South Wales. And this is where, just under a year ago, my daughter and her friends were responsible for the rescue of a green sea turtle that was found badly injured in this pool right here in front of me. My daughter and her friends lovingly named the turtle Michelle or Michelle and she had been possibly attacked by a shark and had a lot of damage to her front right flipper and also to her shell. I'm happy to say that thanks to the wonderful work of the staff at the Dolphin Marine Conservation Park in Coffs Harbour, Michelle was released just last Monday right here at Arawara Beach, healthy, happy and raring to go. The green sea turtles will make their way at high tide up here onto these rocks and find a nice safe pool to rest in for a couple of days. Up here they're safe from predators and it's a really good place to just rest and chill out for them. You can often find them in the pools over here and in this big pool behind me. We've come here quite often and found one, two, sometimes even three sea turtles resting here so it's a really good place to see them up close and just so relaxed. So we came up here on a beautiful Monday morning to meet the people from Dolphin Marine Conservation Park and to see Michelle who looked like a completely different turtle. <laughs> she was really well healed and just, as I said, raring to go. Uh, carried flapping all the way <laughs> to the waves where she was released and is now out there somewhere behind me hopefully living a happy, healthy life. The headland here is not just a great place to see turtles but it's also an incredible place for bird life. There are terns and seagulls over there on the rocks. There's also herons you can see here sometimes, sooty oyster catchers. Uh, there are also uh, uh, black-shouldered kites that can sometimes be seen flying around here or resting in the Norfolk Pines up there by the road. It's really, it's just an incredible place to come for a walk and just explore the rock pools and see what life you can find here. So I'm happy to report that Michelle is, as far as we know, happy and healthy in the ocean behind us and hopefully we will see her again here in one of these pools looking healthy and rested and just living a great life. So a huge thank you to the staff at Dolphin Marine Conservation Park for not only allowing my daughter and her friends to be part of the rescue of Michelle but also keeping us up to date on her recovery and allowing us to be part of her release. We, it's amazing, you guys do amazing work and I know Michelle thanks you <laughs> and we do too. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so and ding the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a new video, which is once a week on a Friday at 1 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Please also hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and leave a comment below if you are super excited that Michelle is back in the ocean. Until next time, get out there, take some wicked shots and I will see you soon. I'm gonna go and take some bird photos. Bye.